Sailing and fishing have long been important aspects of Scotland and Scottish history, especially throughout the last two to three hundred years. In that time, thousands of lives were claimed by the sea. It was said that many of the sailing men never learned to swim, as your chances of surviving in the cold and bitter North Sea were slim to none. You would freeze to death within minutes of falling in. This is why many tales are told of those claimed by the sea, and of the odd happenings seen from the shore. The Light on the Water Many years ago, sometime in the 19th century, a respected Edinburgh doctor was travelling the Scottish Isles. He was there to learn from the islanders and help them with medical troubles. It was on this trip that the good doctor came to the Isle of Skye and travelled to the village of Broadford on the coast. There he stayed at a quiet inn and one evening after a meal the doctor decided to go for a walk along the empty beach it was around 8pm when the man beheld an odd light out at sea. He thought that perhaps it was some form of distress signal or fire. He began to run back along the shore in order to raise the alarm when he noticed that the light was moving. As it came closer, the globe of light became brighter and brighter. The man, now nearly blinded, stumbled backwards up the beach when the light touched the shore, it disappeared in a flash. And now, standing before the doctor, was an oddly illuminated young woman, cloaked in a thick travelling shawl and bearing a small child in her arms. The doctor looked up into her white face and saw a deep sadness in her eyes. The woman slowly reached out a pale hand, as if asking for help. But as the man went to take it, the woman and the child vanished. The man was left in an eerie dark silence, trying to comprehend the odd spectacle he had just beheld. After a short while, the man regained his composure and headed for the inn. But every few steps, he would throw a glance back towards the beach where the woman had stood. On returning to his living quarters, the doctor quickly told the innkeeper of the strange light and his encounter with the white woman. And before the tale had ended, the odd look on the innkeeper's face told the man that he had heard such tales before. With some reluctance, the innkeeper eventually told the doctor that the mysterious light first appeared eight years ago, on the night after a ship was wrecked on the coast. It was said by the locals that 30 souls were lost upon the ship that night, but only two bodies were ever found washed ashore. A young woman with a child gripped in her frozen arms. They were found on the very spot that the doctor claimed to have seen the light. As for the light itself, some of the locals have suggested it was the manifested form of the sailors lost that night, and on every evening since the wreck occurred, they have tried to save the woman and her innocent child by bringing them ashore. Some say that the ghostly light can still be seen each night in the Bay of Broadford, and that the will of the sailors will never rest until the child is saved. Thank you for listening, and a special thank you to my patrons for supporting the channel. Slang Shiva.